Pisces, welcome back to Emperor's Light. It's me coming back with your channel messages for this evening. It is 12.33 on the head. So yeah, 3.33. Uh, manifestation, creativity, you know, godlike qualities, and alchemist. All of the above. It's basically uh, the creative potential that people are able to put out there, right? The father, the mother, and they create the child. Or the father, the son, and the Holy Ghost. Right? It's the Trinity. So yeah, there may be... Actually, let me... Before I channel anything. Let's shuffle a little bit. Yeah, like the video, subscribe to the channel so that we continue to grow. Add your energy to the reading. It may also help you attract your person uh, to the channel as well. Um, so I just did Aquarius' reading. They're dealing with... Um, <laughs> they're dealing with an extreme lover... Uh, possibly a control freak <laughs> but definitely someone that wants to spoil them that wants to be all up in their energy so uh, if you have Aquarius somewhere in your big three or you have um, an air sign somewhere in your big three definitely take a look at that reading as well your grounded energy for today Pisces look at that from the beginning to the end as above so below we have um, Aries here with the full card so you could definitely have a fool for love coming towards you so what we're doing today is we're trying to connect with the person that's wanting to connect with you so yeah we wanted to see what the card of Mancy says about how this person wants to connect with you uh, why they want to connect with you all right we have the higher funds mm, so this person could be a Taurus or some sort of a professional this person could stand on some sort of a religious or um, yeah, some sort of a religious backing. Ten of Storms. It's giving me social media vibes, but this is uh, overthinking, which could lead to sleeplessness, right? It could, lead, it could lead to, like, mental illness, toxicity, not being able to get um, what's on your mind out. So this person could have a stuttering problem or something like that. <laughs> Now, before I say this, there's millionaires out there that don't even have a third grade education. I'm not sure if this person knows how to read, write, spell, or whatever the case may be. It's not a knock against them. Um, okay, so this person's a teacher. Okay, a hierophant. So they're teaching people how to read, write, spell, and all that stuff. So yeah, okay. They're dealing with a lot of people. This is like a bunch of people yelling at the same time, Ten of Storms, giving off social media vibes. Yeah, Six of Storms. This person is looking for a quiet moment. It's giving me that movie, A Quiet Place. Although that's not a romance movie. That's a horror movie. Mm, so this person could have come out of... Okay, so I was... Yeah, and I was channeling this, I was channeling this earlier. Uh, Rihanna, what is it? We found love. And what is the rest of it? In a hopeless place. Yeah, so this person could have been single for a long time. Or come out of some sort of a marriage. Hierophant. Hopefully this person isn't still married. That's why they're reaching out to you on social media or different apps here, <laughs> trying to hide something. Uh, let's see. I have a habit of over overthinking or oversimplifying the messages when I probably shouldn't do that. We have the, I shouldn't need to allow you guys to learn how to channel your own tuition and pull your messages from these cards. We have the Queen of Gems. Ooh, we had the King of Gems show up in, a, in Aquarius' reading. So, yeah, I would recommend, since I'm only uploading two videos for the Zodiac tonight, I would recommend you watch both of them. Sometimes my intention is to, um, and I have a problem because I, I can't. I'm forcing myself to do 10-minute videos when literally I can go for like a half hour, hour. <laughs> so... It's kind of a strain on me um, not to go long, but to go short. <laughs> Pause. Um, but yeah, we have the uh, matriarch here. Definitely, this could be a strong supportive uh, nurturer here. Um, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus energy. So yeah, definitely have an, uh, an earth sign coming towards you. Higher font energy. Possibly uh, Capricorn. Yeah, either one of the earth signs, really. There's air sign energy as well here. Yes, yeah, so there's balance. Again, as above, so below. Similar to Aquarius' reading. We have all this earth energy and all this air reading. Up in the air, as above, down to the earth, so below. Uh, temperance. So this person may reach out to you online. This person may even be spiritual. Ooh. So we have uh, religious systems and spiritual systems. 
So yeah, this person definitely has some sort of a standard or yeah, they have a lot of integrity. Um, they have boundaries. They possibly even have some sort of rules. I mean, this could this could be them in a marriage as well. Um, trying to have their way. I want to say have their cake and eat it too. I mean, this could very well be a, a feminine that's acting like this. Right? She's just not happy in her relationship. This is what happens, right? Now, that's for some. That's not for all. So, who's wanting to connect with Pisces at this time? Uh, let's get your bonus message. The Knight of Gems. A slow-moving offer. It's almost giving me hesitation. But, yeah, they're coming. Uh, they're coming for you, Barbara. They're traveling. They're coming. Uh, they're moving very slow. They could be... Uh, coming towards you from a distance because the uh fool is an avid traveler right in a childlike state of mind or, or foolishness or they have a lot of faith so this is the type of person to get out in the world and then to compound that we have temperance which is literally a world leader they like to travel so strong fire sign energy okay so we have everything here but water mm, very interesting I do have to pull your break deck message. So, ground in the reading, the fool. This person could come towards you. I mean, they could be very attractive themselves. They possibly want to introduce you to some sort of a new religion or spirituality, or they or they see that you're going through some sort of a hardship here. Ten of storms, and they want to romance you. Yeah, it always happens. Healers are attracted to broken people, and vice versa. Broken people are literally attracted to healers. Mm hmm. So you can get on some sort of an equal footing have the meeting of the minds right this person could be a therapist or a psychologist maybe even a doctor they're maybe into science uh but they're strong religious and spiritual vibes here this person could have went through some sort of a spiritual awakening or this could be you as well this person could also run some sort of a spiritual or a religious business right they're a preacher or a pastor or some sort of a religious guru um it's giving off like Dalai Lama Sadhguru vibes, right? They're teachers, the feminine in, in, feminine energy, right? Although Adam was the first teacher, right? Uh, it's, it's, that's just part of a woman's playhouse now, uh, being teachers, right? They've kicked men out of um, out of the career path of um, teaching, basically. And, and now look what's going on with the world. <laughs> they can't think for themselves, but they think they could be teachers. No offense, right? I know some great teachers. Like, the whole reason I even got into tarot was because of one of my favorite tarot readers. I'm actually about to build a top 10 list of attractive tarot readers. <laughs> and the person that um, that uh, introduced me into this sort of thing, I wouldn't necessarily say introduced, but made me dive deeper into self-healing and going on to this, this journey, is actually going to be in that top 10. Um, I'll probably do several top 10 lists anyways. But yeah, this person's moving pretty slow. Yeah, that's the whole point. They have some sort of a religious or spiritual integrity. Now, they're not going to jump head first into the bed with you on the first night or anything like that. Mm -hmm. They might, they may buy you an expensive gift. Yeah. Or something like that. It's almost giving me, um, like, in... <laughs> Going, inviting someone out, and instead of having um, sex with them on the first night, it's more like um, spooning and cuddling, right? Possibly even naked. Like someone doesn't want to go all the way. Personally, that's actually happened to me before. <laughs> yep, way back in my early twenties. I think I was like twenty-two years old. <laughs> Dealing with a 20 year old One of the first girls younger than me That I dated Let's see what's the break deck message To this day she's still mad She's like you got so many girls attracted to you I don't ever want to speak to you again I'm like am I in a relationship with any of these girls Like <laughs> women are so Territorial man <laughs> To a fault What's the break deck message here for Pisces, the healer, our water sign here that always gets their readings in the middle of the night? <laughs> All right. Yeah. Good energy. Ten of bubbles. Yeah. The night of gems. So, yeah, they're bringing this slow movie offer to you. Yeah. I mean, this is traditionalism here with the Hierophant. 
and with high spiritual integrity, right? A spiritual system or value system that they go by, right? One day at a time, two chains. Mm -hmm. Yeah, or you'll end up, uh, what did he say? Um, I wish, I, I can't even say the words. I wish it had a sign in it that said, warning, if you hit it, then you mine. <laughs> yeah, rather that bottle of wine than calling up that woman for a situation you know you shouldn't be getting in. But yeah, this may even be an engagement or marriage uh, towards you in the future. This person that's coming towards you or wanting to connect with you. They're wanting to have some sort of a high spiritual connection with you. This could even this person wants to do something spiritual with you. I don't I'm not sure if they want to like meditate with you. Some sort of a kundalini here. You know what it's reminding me of when we were in school and we used to play that game where we used to stare into each other's eyes to see and then um see who would look away first or laugh or something like that. They kind of do the same thing on Wild and Out where they hold the water in their mouth and they tell jokes to see who spit the water up. Yeah, this is what I'm getting here. Now, adults can be children and children can be adults. These same people that's running around here, 20, 30, and 40 years old, people that's 70, 80, and 90, and 100 years old still look at you as a little child, right? So stop saying you're grown. I don't know how many times I got to keep saying that. 11, 11 just passed on the clock. All right? When you cut a tree down, it doesn't die. It's still growing. So if you want to be grown, that means you stop learning. That means you're dying, right? You might as well uh, reveal your gray hairs, right? <laughs> you might as well reveal all the greatest secrets that you've ever learned at 30 years old and being grown, right? This person, yeah, this person, they're super religious and spiritual. Yeah, this sounds like a lecture that you get from a pastor or a preacher or some sort of a spiritual person. So they may try to hold you accountable in certain things. They may even get turned off if you try to come off too sexual towards them, right? I mean, you may even know who this person is, and finally they're coming towards you for some sort of a relationship, and don't force sex on this person. Right? Let's get one more channel message, one more break deck message here for Pisces. <laughs> yeah, Pisces, the lover, the healer. <laughs> uh, we got the two of embers, yeah, abstinence. They're watching you from a distance and they're wanting to come towards you and they, they're not afraid to turn you away. This is like me. You can be the most beautiful woman in the world, but if you your personal your personality, your sexuality, if your emotions come off weird, I'm instantly turned off and I'm going the other way. But this person could be in the midst of traveling at this time, ambition, wanting to get out, um, wanting to uh, they have a lot of ambition, they wanting to plan here. They could even be um, an entrepreneur, so yeah, they could um come towards you with some sort of a plan or they've been planning some sort of an excursion uh for you too all right but that is what i have for you this evening pisces hopefully you enjoyed the reading like the video subscribe to the channel so that we continue to grow and i can put out more messages like this for you guys in the future the king of storms yeah they have they're very um they like rules here <laughs> 13 13 Rules are meant to be bent. <laughs> All right. Well, hopefully you guys have a good evening. Peace.